Oh man, so things are looking pretty good right now here on Phantom, up about 2 or 3% at the time of recording this video. Have we finally bottomed out and do we now have the green light to head to higher highs? Or is this just a bit of a dead cap bounce with more downside risk? We're going to take a look at the charts right now. Let's start off with Bitcoin. And if you haven't watched my Bitcoin video from a couple of hours ago, make sure you check that out because we have a major, major catalyst which is going to dictate where we're going to be heading for potentially the next few weeks here coming up over the next about uh, four or five hours. So make sure you go watch that Bitcoin video. Watch this video in preparation for that because at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we have Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed speaking after the FOMC meeting and the market is at standstill waiting to see what he talks about. Again, I talk about it in detail in the Bitcoin video. If you want to understand the macro and macro um, economic perspectives and what we're waiting for in that meeting, really important you listen to that video. And here you can see on Bitcoin, just in anticipation of this meeting, well, the market is starting to rally up. Uh, you can see here as well, the stock market's looking pretty good here as well. If we click on over to the US, you can see the Dow's at the moment up 1.45% intraday, S&P 2%, 2.63% on the Nasdaq, really starting to pick up some of the weakness uh, which we've seen over the last couple of days. Could this mean that the market is starting to switch back to risk on? Was all of this overhyped and uh, too much panicking and the fear? Are the market starting to go, hang on a second, it's not as bad as it seems because we know what to expect from Jerome Powell. We don't expect an interest rate hike today. Uh, we expect him to announce the first interest rate hike in March, potentially with uh, talking about some uh, plan to shrink the balance sheet over the next few months as well. Is it just, you know, was it overplayed or are we ready to head to the upside? So you can see here Bitcoin now at 38,372, which is really good. You can see our major support uh, and resistance line coming in at 38,405. Really important here on Bitcoin that we can get over the hump here at uh, 38,405 and turn that back into support. We don't want to be uh, stuck under here as resistance. You want to get above it, retest and head higher through 40, 41. And then we then things will really start to get interesting on Bitcoin because zooming out, you saw how quickly we fell. So the thesis would be that equally, you really want to push through 40 and 41 quickly because this is a big gap here. We can easily come back up to this support line here at 41.659 is our next level, okay, before then heading forward to 44 line here. So that's what we're looking for here to the plus side on Bitcoin, but we have to maintain some downside risk as well, okay, and we could be seeing lower targets down to 30, which I'm going to come on to as we look at the phantom chart. So let's take a look at what we're seeing here on phantom. And if I head over to the four hourly and we zoom in a little bit here, you'll remember that we were covering off this W pattern. In fact, it's a bit more clearer on the hourly. This W pattern, let's take off our EMA ribbon. So we had this W pattern playing out and you can see we had a bit of a fake out, send back down as the market's just tentative right now, right? And I said that even as I gave the technical target, I shared this with you, oops, I shared this technical price target with you at the top here at about 297, call it $3. But I did caveat this with saying, look, technicals, tend to go out the window if the fundamentals do not align. If the fundamentals align, fantastic. But if the Fed come out and say something uh, very hawkish and scares the market off and risk goes off, the Nasdaq falls, Bitcoin falls, phantom will fall. And then we have to look at our lower levels of support uh, potentially, but the good news is obviously we're at 237. So lower levels of support to go back through 208, back down through 194. And if the market panics, maybe down to 165 as well. So I've got to prepare myself mentally for that if we have carnage in the market. But fingers crossed, we can see that, you know, things are starting to head up. The market's looking quite confident right now because you can see here, we're attempting another breakout of this W pattern. So you can see the first failed one came back down, consolidated for a little bit. Now we're getting another breakout. In order for this breakout to be more valid from a technical perspective than this previous one, we've got to break this high. Okay, so we've got to get above 2.466 here. Uh, before we can say, okay, this is a better breakout because we create a higher high from the attempted one where we got rejected with the bearish engulfing candle to the downside. Okay, so important we get above 2466. But keep technicals aside for now, guys. This is all about fundamentals. It's all about what happens with Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and what kind of tonality does he give. If he comes out and doesn't surprise the market, doesn't spook the market, and even better, if he can soothe the market and say something positive to say, you know, I'm not here to wreck the stock market or something along those lines, then the market can really have something to cheer about. We could see that 
S&P and Nasdaq start to rally and that could give us the green light here for Bitcoin and therefore some of our favorite altcoins which are set up ready to go. I mean this is a perfect setup. It just needs that macro catalyst before it's good to really just go and start meeting our price target up at $3. We already know that Phantom from a fundamental perspective. We've you know I'm not going to bore you again with that today guys. We've covered it off to uh you know up to here with it. Uh we've we've looked at the total value locked. We've seen it flip some of the best projects uh, on the planet in terms of total value locked it's flipped them it's got mass adoption great platform fundamentals are all looking good the hype is starting to get there the community is starting to get there it just needs bitcoin to have a good few days before we can head higher here on phantom and we can see even as bitcoin is up 3.66 percent today we can start to see a lot of altcoins starting to move we've got ethereum up eight percent today Cardano is moving 8% off its low, Solana 6%, 6%, Algorand 5%, which starts to see this is what the, you know, this is what could happen if Bitcoin has really leveled off. If Bitcoin's really leveled off and is ready to climb its way back up to 69,000, this is just a taster of what could be happening with all coins. Because I mean, we've got Koti up 9% here today. You've got, um, you know, Solana up 6%. You've got Dogecoin up even 6%. Just gives you a clue of what could be happening when the market gets going. But, but 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 we have to be have to be wary of a potential dead cat bounce here on Bitcoin because if the Fed comes out and says something negative or spooks the market again, this could just be a small relief rally. If you look at it in the greater scheme, this could just be a small relief rally before then getting thrown down to 30 here. And that would be then critical. If we lose 29 mark, we would have created a lower low here on Bitcoin and that would indicate a downward trend. Okay, so that is the summary of what we're waiting for here from the Fed. Really important next set of hours. It looks like the market wants to rally. It seems like the market is you know, going into this meeting quite bullish they're, they're expecting that jerome powell won't shock the market but sometimes that could be a double-edged sword right sometimes if you expect the worst and then something good comes out we're set for a rally but now that the market's starting to price that in which means people are buying the dip they think overall the market's got it wrong and oversold across small caps across uh bitcoin across all of our altcoins as well that can sometimes work to the detriment if now Jerome Powell comes out and says something, which he can easily do as a politician, right? He could easily say something uh, which spooks the market. So we've got to be very careful. Uh, you don't want to be going all in just now here on assuming this is the floor and piling in like a lot of people are doing right now. Uh, it's very difficult time in the market. And this is one of the reasons why when this was falling, uh, I was repeatedly saying this would not be a position for me to sell to try time the market to be buying in here. Because right now, I'd not want to be in the position where all my funds are in cash right now and trying to time this dip because I couldn't tell you right now, four hours away from him speaking, which direction this gonna this is gonna head in. It's looking good because the market's rallying, but if he says something negative, boom, it's like trying to play earnings, right? It's in the hand of a human being who's going to say something, and if he spooks the market, we could see further downside back down to 32 and 30 on Bitcoin, and obviously that's gonna have an effect on some of the altcoins which we monitor and track as well. So there you have it, guys. There is your update on Phantom. Another still a great project. Everything's looking good from a fundamental perspective. I'm not currently doing anything right now. I mean, I took the opportunity to dollar cost average in anytime the price is low. Right now, I don't need to do anything. I can see the price is getting pumped up over the last three or four uh, days, starting to turn into green candles. Let people do their thing. Let the Fed play this out. Uh, and let's see where we head from here. If we can see that, okay, now we've got confirmation of a reversal. We start you know, getting back to some of the um, some of the important support levels on the way back up. At those points, then I'd be looking to ladder in and build out a position a little bit more because in hindsight, we know that Phantom below $5 is crazy and below even all-time highs at 350 is crazy as well because since we were last at our all-time high the fundamentals and the adoption has gone through the roof the the you know the the um, awareness about the project the amount of people talking about it the social awareness of it is just going through the roof as well are we going to get a coinbase listing all of these things are positive catalysts which make the 350 where we were at before in the past with lower total value lock no coinbase and the rest of it makes it seem crazy so definitely on the way up at certain levels i will continue to dollar cost average in and i'll make those levels clear to you guys in future videos so make sure you hit that like button make sure you're subscribed and part of this journey hope you guys enjoy this blend between technicals and fundamentals really critical time in the market right now and hopefully you guys appreciate that at the in these types of moments my content will have to evolve and change i will have to bring to you guys 
more macroeconomic stuff that may be boring for some people, but it's really important that we take the time to understand how macroeconomic elements affect our trades and how to invest around them and time our entries accordingly. So if you appreciate that, make sure you let me know in the comments, make sure you support this channel, make sure you head into the link in the description, the pinned comment will be the link to our free discord server okay completely free head over into there over 400 crypto investors in there talking about all their favorite stocks and coins uh so make sure you head into there i often ask you guys what types of videos you want to see what type of coins do you want to see what type of content do you want to see so make sure you're part of that community and voting on the questions as well thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one